good everybody what's good man we tuning in for another video just left that gym getting it in feeling real good it's early well it ain't early it's right before lunch man i plan on getting an early start man i woke up at 7 40 because i like this about to be a job it's 12 it is lunchtime man it's 12 o'clock i don't know man well yeah we in for a good video i'm gonna talk to y'all y'all can see the thumbnail but first I'm about to go out here. We're about to go look at the car and see what we're dealing with. Um, I ain't saw the car in a minute. I don't put it more back toward the wood because, I mean, it about stripped. So, But all the interior pieces still there. And, uh, I had been going back and forth with doing this. But I talked to y'all on what made my mind up uh, later in the video. But for now, we're going to walk out here and hope I don't see no snake or nothing. Because it's a warm day today. But I shouldn't. But I don't know. We just about to see what happens. So y'all stay tuned in. We about to walk out here to the car and see what's happening. All right. Y'all see the budget box. Still got to come up with a name for it. Looking good on them 9C1 wheels. And that right there, all the interior about to come up out of here. So, man, I'm hoping I don't run up on nothing. Because, boy, they go back there. I'm glad. This is actually a good time to do it because it went all this junk dead, cause boy, when it's uh, when it's uh, summer and all that, shoot, it real. Oh, Uncle already done took the tires off. What? Or do he know? I guess he took the tires off. I'm gonna have to ask him. Yeah, this the uh Impala. Oh yeah, we good. We good. God, the seat kind of dirty. That's all right. They still good though. Yes, indeed. All right. So y'all see, y'all see all this? Oh, they about to come up out of here. This is my wife, Impala 2013. We bought this thing when it was a year old. Y'all see what it looking like? Y'all probably wonder why this car looking like this. Well, the oil pump went out. The oil pump went out and um, yeah, that's amazing, man. These, these cars, I don't know, 50 50 on them. Some of them, some of them okay, some of them ain't. But bought this car when it was a year old oil pump went out low oil pressure real quick and killed the motor and at the time it happened the motors were high because a lot of people get these cars confused just to give y'all a quick little, little uh education on these cars you see this trunk no chrome right here the 2012 and up impalas 2012 2013 and 2014 is when they went to the new body style but they still made this body style too but it was called an impala limited but those cars don't have that chrome strip on the back. A lot of people got the one with the chrome right here, which is 2006 through uh, 2006 through 2011. And those cars have different motor and transmissions in them. Cause a lot of people been asking about the transmission for this car. It's a six-speed automatic, not a four-speed. So just cause they look the same, they not the same. This car actually faster than all the rest of them. Some of them came with the 3.9, but the 3.6 is faster. It make more horsepower and all of that so that's a quick little tip this is a six speed automatic car and yeah but as y'all can see everything i'm about to take all of this out that's why i said it's gonna be a job i'm taking the dashboard out i'm putting all this in that box here seats roll with the black carpet i'm gonna put all that so i got a job on my hand man so i'm about to uh take them all loose and uh get to it so let me go get my tools and we're gonna get on it. So I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. All right, so we're gonna start on this side. But boy, it's me and Ant Pile right there. Tool dropped in there and they pretty angry, so I ain't messing with them right now. So I'm gonna start on this side and my plan of attack, I gotta get the seats first. I want the seats unbolted first. That's the main important. That's the most important thing. Worst case scenario. If I can't get this thing out today, I ain't tripping on that. I can come back and get it later, but I do want to get these seats out. So, I'm going to take all the, uh, uh-oh, we're a little dark. All right. I'm going to take all the trim pieces of lube right here. I'm going to take all the trim pieces of lube. I'm not going to use this. I ain't trying to salvage none of this stuff. Uh, so, I really don't care about that. All of the pillar pieces and stuff, I'm not going to use this. They won't fit in the box. But... Everything that what does have to come out right is this dashboard. It's trim. I might use all of that. I won't, if I do, I'm gonna make all of this stuff work. This AC gonna work. The old school. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the harness and all that. This gonna work the lights. 
gauge is gonna work all of that i figure out how to wire the uh, computer up and all this stuff and i changed that because it ain't no impala i had it custom trust me it's not gonna be fine i get that either way this gonna end up in that box it's gonna end up in that box and functional might not off, off top but it's gonna end up in the box so i'm finna do these seats i gotta get these out and uh like i said i'm gonna get these pillar pieces off first cause i think they got to come out and i was trying to take this off that torx boy i don't know who, what they put that thing in there with but when i say i put some foot pounds of torque on there with these y'all know the arms are impact i said in another video but boy I don't know what they put that in there with, but it's coming out today. We're just going to say that. So if I can use these seat belts, I would like to. I don't know. I might be able to adapt them and make them work. I don't know. I might, I'm going to take these out too, though. So uh, I'm about to get to that. And as I make progress, I'm going to tell y'all what I took a little. So stay tuned. All right, so this is what we got going on. I moved from the front. Took little trim pieces off. And the way I work, I'm a type of person. If I'm looking around trying to figure out what to take a loose and it's taking me too long i move i move to where i can move faster because i want to make some progress so i'm working on the back seat the impalas these flip up they got the tabs they just pull flip them up there's three bolts right here so far uh back seat still connected i think i'm gonna take all these two y'all see it's a bolt right there in the middle hold on I'm gonna take all these just in case I can make all of them work. So I'm gonna take these buckles, a loose and all that, keep all the bolts. Right now I just took three bolts out where it's, it's one on each end, it's a nut right there in the middle. So I'm gonna see what I got left to disconnect this back, this back piece. So I'm still holding it, probably gonna have to go through the trunk, but it's no problem. Um, We'll get it figured out. But right now I'm working on that, trying to get the bottom piece. Well, the bottom piece might be loose. And that water, that water right there, it just come from, y'all see, ain't no door on there. So nothing serious, just sitting in the plastic. So this is where I'm at right now. And see if I can get this back piece up. It's still something, feel like something holding it. Oh, it's on the hook. So I got to flip the hook up, pry the hook up back, and then uh, I better get this out. So I'll catch y'all in a few. All right, so we got the bottom back seat out, and uh, I broke the little plastic piece because the clip it's a it's a release after you get all the bolts out and seat belt bolts. Uh, it's a release up under there. It's a pull release. You can see that was kind of hung. That side right there was broke, probably rusted, but it's all good. Not a big problem. So. We got the back seat out, and now I'm working on the front seats. You got two 15 millimeter bolts. It's a 15 millimeter in the track right here, and in the track right there. They call the battery out, of course. The computer been took out the car, so it'll make it easy if you had power. You can slide the seat all the way up. You can see the bolts easy. Then there's two releases up there in the front. I figured them out when I get up there. So I'm going to get this seat out. I'm going to take the motor and all. Because, like I said, I'm going to make these seats work. I'm going to put the motor in the box shave and all of that. So I'm going to work on that. Then when I get this out, I'll show y'all uh, what I had to take loose. So stay tuned. All right. I don't know how good y'all can see. But I got the two bolts in the back. Two uh, nuts in the back loose. And uh, that's all you need. Like I said, it's two clips. You put your headrest down. Then let your seat back and see what you're gonna do is pull up and you're gonna kind of slide it back Now I might have to fight with this Cause this bad boy got a little weight to it. I'm Slide it off the clip one on off There you go And that's it that one out. I got one of the screw bolts out over there and then I'm gonna hit the other one and disconnect the harness and take the uh, motor and all that out the right way because I'm gonna be using all of that. So seat belt buckle already attached to it. And uh, I'm probably gonna take these seat belts too. I might try to make these work. So y'all just stay tuned. I want to show y'all that right quick because we about to get these bad boys out. And I'm gonna sit them over there in the car. 
I don't know. I might just leave them in here. I don't know. But I want to show y'all that. In case y'all didn't know. So I check back in with y'all and get this disconnected. See y'all in a few. Alright. So this is what we got going on. Got two front seats out. Harness unplugged. Got the seat belt buckles. Might try to use them. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what I can and can't do. Bottom part of the back seat out. Just got to get this. I got the whole bottom part um, unbolted. So I got to find out what's holding it. I really ain't just looked into it. Ain't nothing, simple. Ain't nothing too hard though, but I'm going to get all this out. Pretty much loose. Find where the bolt's at. Uh, what else I got to get? I'm going to get this console next. Since I got plenty of room to work with, I'm going to take the console out right here. Although I might not be using it because I got one coming. Got a con custom console coming. But I'm going to take it out anyway. Take it out the right way. Uh, then I'm going to pull the carpet up. And I'm about to get the motor. Trace the wiring harness car. I'm going to need all that. And I'm going to get that out. I'm going to get everything I need to make these seats work today. Then I might tackle that dashboard another day in another video. Depending on how I'm feeling. But if feeling good... I'm making real good time. Did this, did this stuff pretty quick. So I'm gonna get on top of that. Like I said, the seats were just two 15 millimeters in the back in the track. Then, like I showed y'all, how you tilt it out and all that. It's just two uh, connectors. This a release. You pull that tab, release tab out, and then you just you just push in, and this slides out. And that's just simple same thing. You just push that, put pressure on that, and it pop out. That's it. So we're gonna get all that harness out. So I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So I'm in here, still getting it in, taking the uh, middle console out. I'll show y'all all the bolts you have to take out in a minute. But I like, man, while I'm working, I ain't catching no action shot. I said I might as well go ahead and hit y'all with some with some real talk. Well, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'm slick tired, I ain't bring me no cooler, no water, nothing. I'm tripping. But I said I might as well hit y'all with some real talk. And uh pretty much what I want to talk about is uh you know staying down. Stand down, stand lawyer and all of that. Cause man, I'ma tell you something. When you uh when you when you uh pushing for greater and you come up and you make it, it's gonna be people gonna change up on you. They're gonna people gonna gonna change up on you, man. They're gonna show true colors. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna see who really down for you, Carl. You know, you don't heard y'all probably done heard the the uh saying money, money changes. Money doesn't change people, it changes the people around you. And this this real talk. That real talk. And I, I know anybody that can relate that probably done came up or you know they just elevating in life. And sometimes, sometimes you gotta just you got to just not surround yourself around certain people in the environment, man. As, as hard as it may seem, I don't care their family or whatever. As hard as it may seem, sometimes you got to do it just for yourself. Because some people don't mean you no good. And some people will be happy for you as long as you sitting right there where they at. Now, when you move, when you move and you, you moving forward and you not where they at no more, some not going to like that. And, you know, it's going to be a whole different ball game. But then you're going to have them ones that going to get with you. And you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, hey, if you move it, I'm moving too. That's who you keep around. That's who you want to, that's who you going to want around you. So there's just something to keep in mind, man. Like, I know we all got different goals and everybody come up a different way. But if you coming up, you elevating, some people might be going through it right now, man. Don't feel bad. It's part of the game. It's it just, it's part of the journey. You got to go through it. So. Don't feel bad, man. I, I mean, this relate to anybody. Don't, it don't matter your age. No matter your age. You just got to keep, keep it moving. Like, don't get mad. You ain't changing. You know when you change. If you real, you'll check yourself. You'll be like, man, you know what? I done changed. But for the most part, people don't change. It'd it be, it be the people around you. So, don't feel like, don't, don't second guess yourself and your journey and your dream. Don't second guess yourself because somebody else. What somebody else saying, man, you keep moving. So, I figured I'd, I'd drop my real talk since I've seen right here turning bolts, getting this console out. But I'm going to finish getting this out. Then I'm going to pull the carpet up, trace that wiring harness, 
and I'll show y'all what I did. So I catch y'all in a few. All right, y'all. So we taking back in, man. Look who pulled up. Y'all see my cousin pulled up. Little crazy whips addiction. Go check him out on YouTube. Um, uh, but this where I'm at. Uh, I got the console out. If four bolts go down in the middle, you got two screws in the be in the back of it right there. Two Phillips head screws. Then you gotta take this out. Two Phillips head screws. Go in that. Well, four. Go in that. Take that out. And then that'll free that up. And since I don't have a key, normally you wouldn't have to do what I did. I had to unbolt the shifter to get me clearance so I wouldn't bend the console up to get it off of off around here. But if you had a key, you can just pull the shifter all the way back and then it'll give you the room. But the key in the shop, in the shop is locked right now, so I had to just unbolt that, gave me the clearance. It's uh six bolts, it's two in the back, two in the middle, two in the front. They are half inch, 13 millimeter work. They're nuts. Um, what else? This right here got some clips. You just pull gently, you know, to release the clips. You get that out. So I got the console out. I'm about to put that bolt that back on. I believe when you take your bolts a little, I put them back where they go, so you don't lose them. These are my bolts. I'm gonna keep them just in case I need them uh, for the box heavy. If I have to take some of these brackets, I do some custom stuff. So now that I got all that unbolted, I'm about to pull this carpet up. And that harness right there, I got to get the harness out so we make the power seats work. Then, oh, I still got to get this back, this back loose, uh, the back drive, uh, back seat, the top portion. Then after that, that'll be it for the day. And like I said, I'm going to come back and get the dash out. I'm going to get the dash, everything. I told you I'm going to make all this stuff work. And I said, I'm going to save this for a separate day call. I'm, I really want to take my time. It's going to be a job on... Um, and I want to get all the wires that I need. I'm literally going to take every single wire with this that I need. Just in case. Better to have it than not have it. If I don't need it, then you know, I just get rid of it. So that's going to be a whole nother video. But we will be putting this dash in a box heavy. So y'all going to see that. But let me uh get back to it. Pull the carpet up. Get that wire harness out. Back seat out. Then I'll talk to y'all about why I'm gonna uh, put the interior in there. So I get with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all see that what I got going on? Boy, I got a big mess. Been putting that work in. That wire, I don't know, I might get it out today, but I'm gonna have to trace it. Cause all of this, man, the wiring just literally run through the whole entire car. And uh, I'm not cutting nothing. I'm not cutting no wires and splicing them cause obviously the computer, work all of that i mean it got the motor on and stuff at the bottom of the seat the motor is connected to the bottom of the seat but i want this stuff running right the control see that's a lot of wires i could cut them but then you have to find these individual wires where to go and all of that to make the stuff work since it got so many adjustments so i'm gonna do it the right way i'm gonna take the entire harness out i got it disconnected i'm just gonna run through and unplug the connectors i need unplugged and I'm just gonna trace it and uh, get the whole entire harness out. And uh, whatever I need, I use. What I don't need, I won't use. So I got the back seat out, disconnected. So the top half out. So uh, about to go lay this out there, go take it in to the uh, box up there. Woo wee. Boy, that thing will break. So I'm about to go take it up there. And uh, I might finish taking the harness out. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm going to catch y'all on the next clip. All right, so I'm checking back in. I'm putting my tools up, man. I'm done for the day. I'm tired. I'm just, I'm tired now. And see, I came straight from the gym and jumped straight on this. I'm tired, man. I need some water. I ain't got to eat. I'm done with my meals for the day, so. But I need some water. I'm just tired, man. So, and I got to go home and edit. I got more videos to do. I got to get caught up on them. But this is where I'm stopping at. We got the back seat out. We got the main part I wanted out with the seats. We got the seats out. The front seats and the back seat. Say so I'm gonna make them power seats work. If for some reason I can't, it's just too complicated. I can always uh, put the tracks, put the old school tracks on the uh, Impala seats, and then that's a simple fix. But my plan is to get that dashboard out and put it in there. If it's too much work, then I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm talking about as far as fitting the dash and making the stuff work. If it's a whole lot of work and putting it in the box here, I might leave it alone. And then again, I might not, depending on how I'm feeling. But uh, I know you can make anything work with just a little time. You can make anything work. 
So it depends on how I'm feeling or whatever. But all else fail, I'm using my box every day as I got in there. But I really wanted the seats. That's why I went ahead and got that done. So I got the seats out. And uh, like I said, I'm going to finish getting the wiring harness car. Like I said, it literally runs through the entire car. So to do it right, that's going to take some time. So that's why I'm stopping. So I'm going to stop right there today. Uh, I probably get the wiring harness out when I get the dash out. And you know, I want to get those seats out because it be raining and stuff. It's been raining in here. So I ain't worried about the dash get wet and all that. But yeah, that's it. I'm finna uh, go over here and holler at y'all on what the plans is. So stay tuned. All right. So. Well, I'm tired, man. I just fought and got one interior inside another interior. I got all them seats inside that car. Got two front seats in the inside, and I got the back seat in the trunk. And the tires I had sitting in there, I had to borrow my brother's truck. <laughs> uh, I got the tires on the back of his truck, man. He'll be cool right now. He getting the engine built. Y'all gonna see him on the ride racks soon, too. Uh, probably this week, y'all gonna see him on the ride racks. My brother on that shop bed. But, uh... Yep, light in bed. But yeah, um, I know y'all told me to change the interior. I told you I listened to y'all. So uh, I was thinking about doing this anyway. So I'm running the 2013 Apollo seats. Gonna go in the box Chevy, 1990 box Chevy. We're gonna get the seats in there. Uh, and I had been thought about this, but I didn't know how the seats would look. I was thinking they'll look funny, or look too bulky or tall. But uh, I thought about that when I first got the car. I was like, man, I could put them seats in there. Um, but I, um, I made a post on my Facebook last week, and I was asking if anybody did it or anybody got pictures of a car with them in it or box Chevy with the seats in it. And, man, they a couple of people sent me some pictures, both custom and just factory. And they, I, I, was, I was sold. I was like, I'm going to do it. So when I, I made it my plan. I said, today, Monday, I'm coming to take them seats out. So that's what I that's what I did. Uh, so yeah, it actually looked good, man. There's some box savers out there. They got them poly interiors. Some of them got the full dash and everything. I never thought about putting a dash in there, but they got the dash in there. And it just looked crazy, man. Like opening the door to a new car. And I mean, I know you can put pretty much any dash and any interior in any old school. It just takes work. As long as the dimensions the same, you know, it takes some work. So, in time. But uh, yeah. That's it for today, man. We got the interior, like I said, so everything pretty much squared away. Uh, after the budget bill is over, I'll probably go ahead and have some seats covered. That's not part of the budget bill. Uh, like I said, I'm going to stay true to what I said. I'm going to crank the car, drive it with the 28s on it, and that interior. I'm going to clean the interior up that's in the car already just to show y'all how, how good it can come. You might can bring it back a little bit because everybody don't have the money or resources to go get some interior like luckily i didn't have to pay well technically we did pay for it but uh if you had to go to a junkyard that would have cost a decent amount of money i mean getting the seats out and every little piece you need that'll, that'll add up too but you know some people ain't got the resources to do that so i'm still gonna stay true to what i said and ride the, the interior that's in the car for a little minute then after the budget is over i'm gonna go ahead and get the seats done and probably gonna do them in black leather and uh paint all the pieces on the inside and you know whatever whatever we're gonna go from there but yeah that's the plans that the video for today man i got all that stuff out i said uh this uh the next episode i don't know when the next episode gonna be coming i like i said i got leds for it but i'm gonna wait until the motor is in the car to do that so pretty much man the next episode gonna be probably waiting on unk to get the motor dropped in and all that well building the motor he still got to put it together like i said or it might be together i ain't been in the shop but uh just stay tuned man for the next episode after this i got ride racks and coming car i got i got two more ride racks and video coming car like i said y'all saw the one with my big sister man i know everybody got to laugh off of that man she like to die and uh but that same day i took a lot of my family on ride racks and but the video would have been too long so i split it up in three videos so y'all gonna get those they funny too and on uh, that's it john jones in the shop it's in the shop up there like i said getting the torque on getting done all my cars is over here at the shop right now so i don't know what i'm gonna be doing about content i'm gonna keep some coming for y'all though well i got some stuff coming but john jones in the shop getting something done the box getting put together and uh that's it that's it oh kendra Kendra, uh, wifey money Carlo be coming home, so she'll be dropping content on her channel on that. 
And yeah, that's it, man. Oh yeah, make sure to go subscribe to my wifey channel. It's on screen right now, Days with Kendra. Let's get her to 500 subscribers, man. We gotta get her subscribers up. She got a banger coming, man. She might have dropped it already, man. I'm talking about never before done. It's a workout video, but it's an interesting workout video. So y'all definitely make sure to check that out. And yeah, that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video on time. I'll catch y'all on the next one.